Good morning. How's everyone today? So we can do that properly. Everybody okay? Not quite so nice out there this morning, but it's not raining, so that's good. Um, I'm just going to put a quick video together because I thought I was dashing off for appointments in Hull today, but it's actually tomorrow, so I've got a bit more time than what I thought. So I'm just going to pop on some primer first because as we know it's a crime not to prime this gives your face the foundation that it actually needs before you put your makeup on it takes good morning Alison you all right hi Lisa I'm so pleased because I really thought I was going to rush around like a lunatic today because I had I've got three appointments in Hull so I've been running around check my diary just about to ring the clients to say um, I'm on my way <laughs> it's tomorrow so that was a nice surprise so I thought I'd do a quick video okay so let's play the game give me a thumbs up if you can hear me good morning Lisa or a hello would be good let's play the game what have we done with that one there got it so I'm going to pop on some concealer because I have quite a few blemishes I've got really good skin, the foundation skin's good, but it's blotchy and patchy with pigmentation, which does my head in. But there is a way to cure it, apparently, and I saw somebody in the network marketing business the other day post something. I don't know what it was that they actually posted, but it was something about, it was either a mask or some sort of cream that really works well. So I posted yesterday to see if anybody would come back to me, but nobody has as yet. So if you know of anybody that does, I don't, I can't remember which company it was. I just remember seeing the products and thinking, oh, that's good. And then the moment you click away from a certain page, things disappear and you don't see it again. So, you're all excited for tonight, Lisa. Just got a bit more time to get organized now, which is great. I wasn't expecting. Okay, foundation time. So you pop your foundation on your brush, you don't need much. And you just dot it in the areas. And then just fill it in. Easy peasy. Morning, Debbie. You all right? Okay. I think I'm a little, I think I've got a shade too dark because I, my fake tan's faded. And this is like the color I normally use when I've got a fake tan on. Hi, Anna. So I'm just a little bit dark, I think, but it shouldn't really matter. Somebody told me it was heading towards summer the other day, but this morning I'm not so sure again. So just blend that in, as you can see. So for anybody that's interested, I'm at Drax Social Club tonight with a bunch of other ladies and possibly gentlemen doing some sort of um, event to raise money for Macmillan which is obviously a really worthy cause. So, if you're in the area and you want to pop down, there's gonna be loads of things for you to look at, candles, makeup, um, beauty treatments, all sorts. And I'll post the, the page a bit later so you can have a look. But yeah, it's um, all for a really good cause. So if you can spare some time, you can pop down. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Behold Translucent Setting Powder, which, if you've seen the videos before, you'll see is lovely and net, a little net so it doesn't all fall out like they normally do. Can't, can't wait. All set, £40 of raffle tickets already started. Wow, that's good. In fact, that's brilliant. So, Lisa, is it actually your event that you've set up then, or is it somebody else? I get the impression that you've organised it all. I know you're a busy girl, but that's a really good cause, definitely. Hi, 
How many raffle tickets are there? Out of interest. So you'll see this powder, it's translucent, so it doesn't matter what foundation or colour of your skin, it just blends in. And I used to use the powder foundation to set my makeup, which was great, it's always been fine. But, hi Emma, hi Jo. Um, it's always been great, but this, I love the Behold powder because it really does give you a matte finish, and I love a matte finish. Even though some people prefer a really glossy or like a really glam look, I'm kind of more muted really. So, because I'm wearing blue today, I'm going to go kind of blues I think. But first of all, we're going to hit the beachfront bronzer. So, this is in Malibu. And this basically gives you a bit of a glow. You can use it for contouring as well. And just highlight your cheekbones and your jawbone. You can see that, it does make a difference. We do have a contouring kit that I use as well, which is fab. But when you're in a bit of a, you want to get things done quick, the bronze is really, really good. Yeah, we've got a sculpting duo, so you've got that, which has got like a, that's the contouring section. This is the lightning section and this is the shimmer. It's been really good, I use it quite a lot, but during the day I tend to just use this. I've set up the fundraiser every year, what can I do? Touched by cancer. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely well deserved, so many people have been affected. So, I'm delighted to be involved. Okay, so now I'm going to do the whole, if you've watched me do this, it's a bit of hit and miss sometimes. The Brow Obsession Palette, which has got in it... Um, two colours for your eyebrows, um, two highlighters, a pink and a, a yellow one, and brow setting gel. So it just keeps everything in place. So let's hope we can do the eyebrows both in the same direction today. And eyebrows obviously are really important because they do shape your face and give you like a basis. And it makes a huge difference if you've got them on properly. People don't put them on properly, see this one's a bit higher than one's a bit lower. But apparently that's quite normal because in real life people have, don't have symmetrical eyebrows. But you kind of want it to go as good as it can. And because I've got hooded eyes, in fact yesterday they weren't so bad, but today you can see it. I, you can't see much from my mobile lid today at all. So I'm puffier today, whereas yesterday they were really good. So whatever I did yesterday, I didn't do. Whatever I did the night before last, I didn't do this time. Okay, so now we've done that. I'm going to pop on the lighter colour just to kind of blend it in a bit so it's not too harsh. And then, cotton buds, my favourite thing. We're not having a good brow day today. Just goes to show, doesn't it? It's not easy. It's not as easy as you think it is. Okay. I've been debating getting them tattooed on. I know a few people that have. It's a bit of a scary prospect. I'm not quite sure whether to or not. Okay. And then we're going to go for some highlighter, so I'm going to go for the yellow, because my skin's quite fair. We've got darker skin than pinks, better I believe. So you can just see that little, it just gives that little bit of shimmer. And then I'm just going to set it with the gel as well. Okay, so like I said, I am wearing blue today. So I'm going to go with palette four, um, which has got blues in at the end. In fact, if you look at my top, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of got like the colours in it underneath, so it seems like a good match. So I'm going to give it a go. So I've... You've had yours tattooed, have you? 
Mm, I do know a few people that have Debbie. Would you recommend it then? Well, obviously, if you think it's the best thing, the answer is yes to that question. Um, it's just quite scary. You hear, there's also microblading, is it, that you have, like, loads of hairs or the impression of loads of hairs rather than it just tattooed on in one hit. And they look pretty good. Oh, you recommend it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I have thought about it for a while. Um, because it's so frustrating, as you probably know from before. I'm trying to put your eyebrows on in the same direction so they look like they're attached to the same person. Not always that easy. Okay, so we're going for blue. And I need to make sure that my eyeshadow goes above the crease line because my crease line is quite low down. You can't see my lower lid particularly well. You can when, you, when I blink, but... Otherwise, not so well at all. So I've gone for the colour which is cheerful, because that's how I'm feeling today. Loads of reasons to be cheerful. Where did you get them done then, Debbie? You're going to say miles away, aren't you? Okay, so you can see that, you can see that colour, um, even though I've got my eyes open, but it's not really, really obvious. So I'm just gonna take it up a little bit higher. Because I want you to see the contrast. See what I mean, that's a little bit higher. Okay. And then I'm gonna go for the colour Triumphant, which is the really dark blue. I'm going to use that as my transition. Harrogate went with my sister. Well, Harrogate's not too far. Mm. Might be worth a think. The thing is, though, with it being tattooed, it's kind of permanent, obviously, isn't it? And it's what well, happens if you do it wrong? You're kind of stuck. And I can't imagine getting it laser removed from your eye area is a good idea. Hi, Jade. Yeah, I really can't imagine that would be a good idea at all. Okay, so, just blend that out. So would you recommend the, Har the Harrogate Salon then, Debbie? Because you see them on Groupon quite a lot, don't you? And it's a bit, mm, that's a bit worrying. It means they've got loads of space available. So does that mean they're not very good? Do you like my Argyle mug? So you can see it. Okay. Argyle mug, my friend bought me for Christmas. I love it. It's a really good size. Size is important. Don't let anybody tell you different. Okay, so now we're going to go for some of my favourite splurge, which if you've watched my videos before, you'll know is Victorious, which is the um, nude matte lipstick. Not lipstick, eye cream shadow, cream eyeshadow. Good morning. I'll wake up in a minute. <laughs> okay, so you get your cream eyeshadow brush, which is like really dense. So it spreads the product really well. As you can see, it's a really nice nude colour. And it lasts all day. No creasing, nothing to worry about. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Not like in the olden days where you used to buy a cream shadow and within like five minutes it's gone into all your creases and slid down your face. This doesn't happen with this one or with any of the splurges that we do. Right, so for me, having hooded eyes, it's all about trying to make the eyes look more prominent and bigger. And one of the best ways to do that is to... She says looking for it. Where's it gone? Let's go with... No, no, that one. One of the best things to do is to highlight your inner lid, right in your inner corner. 
which I've got nothing on that. So I'm going to use Tender, which is the, the lightest colour. It's got a bit of shimmer. Now you're not really advised to use shimmer on hooded eyes, but... Hiya Donna, you alright? Um, but it just opens your eye up a little bit, so you're not using it to accentuate the lid, which then draws attention to the fact that your eyes are hooded and smaller. It makes it just opens them up a little bit and makes you look more awake. So, okay, let's do the magic. Look at my, I've got no eyelashes. Well, wait a minute. I'll show you some magic. Another thing I'm thinking of doing is a friend of mine does some sort of curled perm lash thing so she doesn't have to um, curl them all the time and that looks really good as well. Right, okay, so you put on your transplanting gel if you don't know that already and this is the base that you put on before you put your fibres on. So, you can actually see I've got the lashes now but this increases them by up to 500% length and volume. As you can see. I would honestly, I could not be without this mascara now. Not at all. It's just revolutionized my life. I'm going to try out the new um, illuminating powder that I got yesterday. I haven't got the right brush for it. You need like a, a fan brush for it because it needs to be put on really delicately. So I might have a bit of fun with it, <laughs> but I just want to give it a go. Because if you've watched the last few days, I've been using the um, the stick in Benevolent. Benev I can't say that word today or yesterday. Benevolent, which is a gorgeous sort of like a really light gold frost it's gorgeous okay magic happen okay so now what you need to do when you've done that is you need to seal them to make sure that the fibers don't fall off so you seal them with the gel again you just leave them to sort of dry for a few seconds, which is why I do one eye first and then the other eye. So this just seals it. And you need to make sure you do do it properly. Okay. And then we've got this one. So it's quick and easy, but makes such a difference. Never found any mascara that's gone anywhere near as good as this, making my, like you can see my lashes. I put two coats in if I'm going out, maybe three sometimes. But for daytime, one is absolutely fine. So now we need the eye pencil because I don't have hardly any lashes on my lower lid. So I need to accentuate a little bit. I just use the eye pencil, which you can see I've used quite a lot. <laughs> and the pencils are, again, really amazing. They don't budge all day. And again, they're highly pigmented. And last, I think I've had this for about, I've used it every day, I've had it for about a year. I am definitely ready for a new one though. Okay, going to try something different. I saw somebody else do this the other day and I thought, well, do you know what? I'll give it a go. I won't, <laughs> I won't do it. I won't practice first. I'm just going to do it live because I'm a bit mad. So, again, splurge on the lips. Okay, bear with me. And now I'm going to add 
some lip splash in Soulful. So, this is quite a bright colour. And I don't want it to be that bright for daytime. So what I'm going to do is I've mixed it with the splurge to mute it down a bit. So it's bright, but it's not as in your face as that on its own. I quite like that. Right, okay. Now we're going to do... <laughs> we're going to do the A La Mode Cream... Cream. Powder Luminizer. Which is... Super cute. Okay, so... As I say, you're supposed to use, like, a fan brush because you just want to do the tops of your cheekbones but I don't have one, so we're gonna have to improvise a bit and see what happens. So, I am gonna get one on order, right, okay. Mmm. You just want it to catch the light as you turn. Great for night out as well. It's all about luminizer this year and strobing, which is like where you just hit the highlighted areas of your face. Just down the nose. Yeah, I definitely need a fan brush for this. Definitely. Which I will get ordered imminently. You see that shimmering a bit? And that's kind of it for today. So I've gone for palette number four on the eyes. Um, I've mixed up the splurge with the splash lipstick to make it a bit more creamy and a bit more um, pared down a little bit. Um, and I've tried out the new luminizer, which you can see. It's not great in this light, but I can definitely see it in my mirror above it. So um, I will get the fan brush that goes with it and do it properly. But for now, I quite like that as well. What do we think? Not bad. Wow, have a lovely day. Oh, you have a lovely day too, Debbie. Um, thanks, Donna. Appreciate it. So, that's me done for today. Um, thank you for watching. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you soon. Bye.